welcome to the greenhouse. I'm Alex. Today we're going to talk about heat capacity. Come on. Heat capacity. What is it? It's the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of a substance by one degree. That's not very intuitive, is it? Let's try an experiment and see if we can understand it better. I've got two party balloons. One of them I'm going to blow up with a little bit of air. And the other one, we're going to fill with water. Okay, here are two balloons about the same volume, and we're going to heat them both up with a match. But before we do that, make a hypothesis. What do you think is going to happen? Okay, you got it? Let's try it. First, we'll do the air balloon. Okay, so here's my match, here's my balloon. Oh, well that's probably about what we expected. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing with the water balloon. Well, that's different. So the balloon full of air pops right away. The balloon full of water doesn't pop at all. Does that surprise you? And why do they behave so differently? The answer is heat capacity. When the flame touches the air filled balloon, it heats the air up and heats the latex up enough that it melts and the balloon pops. But it can't do that with water because water has a really high heat capacity. It's about 4,000 times the heat capacity of the same volume of air. Water has one of the highest heat capacities of any common substance. So the takeaway is you have to add a ton of energy to get water to heat up. The match couldn't add enough heat to make the balloon pop. And there are a lot of real world consequences about the high heat capacity of water that have nothing to do with balloons. For example, Bodies of water like ponds, lakes, the ocean, they don't heat up as much seasonally as the adjacent land does. And this is really important for aquatic organisms, and it also creates microclimates in the landscapes nearby that are different from those that are much farther away. Also, because water has a high heat capacity, when we do observe a change in temperature, we know that a whole lot of heat is stored in that water in order to cause that temperature change. And it's that heat that causes sea level to rise by thermal expansion. And that heat is also energy that can be released later on in the form of strong storms. So heat capacity, how cool is that? 